The three-day Renewable Energy Summit has wrapped up in Gujarat's Gandhinagar. This was the first time the summit was held outside the capital. Prime Minister Modi, along with a slew of state chief ministers, made a pitch to global investors to invest in India's clean energy space. Abhimanyu Sharma wraps up all the action. India's energy transition plans received a boost, with banks and NBFCs committing over rupees 24.8 trillion for the cause till 2030. Here is a roundup from the Reinvest Summit 2024 in Gujarat's Gandhinagar, where several stakeholders in the ecosystem deliberated on the plans ahead. Total, the state, uh, in consultation with the state, various financial institutions, uh, banks together, they have committed 32.5 lakh crores in coming six years. Since offshore is a new uh, arena and uh, government of India has promoted that and they have given us uh, uh, 10 gigawatt uh, of uh, permission and we are planning to have 5 gigawatt uh, plan. Oh, I think India is on a very good track and it's inspiring to be here and feel this dynamic. And I think there are some things that could be moved forward to uh, become a full-scale solar deployment. 500 gigawatt target of non-fossil capacity. And now we have attained 200 gigawatt of capacity. We need to bridge that whatever is required to meet the 300 gigawatt gap. Our estimate is that we'll need about 30 lakh crore of investments in the sector. To maintain a high project asset quality, climate finance specialists advise due diligence on the part of developers and lenders in the form of regular project appraisals and review. Also being vouched for is a reasonable amount of fairness or transparency and certainty of business sustainability and profits to attract the private sector into emerging areas. 1% of GDP growth required 1.25 times of energy growth. So when the country is growing and likely to grow at 7, roughly, around 7 if you take. And what was challenging 20 years back, those are not challenging in wind, solar, hydro now. But same kind of challenge or similar kind of challenge we can envisage in the new and emerging area like your green hydrogen, green ammonia, pump storage, battery storage, e-mobility and charging in front, etc. I think a lot of work is already being done. Um, I think a couple of areas that I could point to is that uh, right now uh, a lot of auctions are happening. Those have to convert to PPAs faster so that you know, we can all get on and uh, with the execution part as well. Uh, and I think that's really a little bit where states need to step up.